Okay, with the sweeps. What in the holy hell? What is up, Butt Check family? Thank you guys for tuning in once again. It is Sunday morning. The weekend is here. We done made it. Actually, we done almost finished the weekend. But either way, we was about to check these buttons. Chapters down below if you guys want to skip around to a certain subject. As you notice, Mrs. Button Check is not to my left today this morning because she is busy. She's actually literally in the other room right now with Mini Button Check, our daughter, carving a pumpkin. So she was like, I'll try to jump in filming later. But anyway, she's checking in pumpkin buttons while we checking these gaming buttons. So without further ado, hope the morning's going good because you already know it's about to get better. Let's go. Okay, you're back in. Fair enough. Bro. What are you doing? You win. What are you doing? The point of teabagging is you're meant to win. All right, now into the first set of buttons that need to be checked. This one pops off into that, that song as old as time. Yes, that topic that every gamer can relate to, whether you're FGC or RPG or OPP or TLC or NWA, what the hell am I saying? Yes, we are talking about the almighty Rage Quit, whether you did it in your favorite game online, offline, or in real life. At one point or another, we have all Rage Quit. Just when you thought today's day and age, you done seen it all, somebody comes up with an invention to help rage quitters. Apparently this dropped a few months ago. I completely missed it. I completely missed it. I literally just saw it the other day and I was like, what? I'm gonna roll the ad. I saw it on TikTok myself, the commercial ad. Let's, let's peep it. I invented the rage quit protector for all those times you get a little too angry at your controller while playing video games. The next time you fire up your gaming console, simply blow up this 360 degree inflatable contraption. Then insert your controller through one of the two pass through hand chambers. Still see every button with the transparent top. Then unleash your rage at your favorite video game in any direction with the peace of mind knowing your controller will absolutely never break from the impact. Once you calm down, it's time to do it all over again. First off, yes, this is a real damn thing. I, I, I'll put pictures on the screen. I think they're selling it at Walmart or Amazon or something like that. I'm gonna even put a link in the description field if you're down with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking you if you're down with it. I'm just like, I'm still kinda, I, there's so many thoughts. There's so many thoughts and let, let's unpack some right now. Some people are saying, yo, I, I want this, tagging their friends and whatnot. A lot of people can't believe it exists. And real quick, what about us stick players? Are we left out? I can't fit in inside this. Am I supposed to get, do they got like a big ass stick one so you can just chunk it against the wall? This looks like something you would use for gaming if you were in the pool. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, do you want a game while you're going swimming? I, for me, like I said, yo, I, I'm not knocking people's inventions because, yo, the dude actually sat and thought about this and he, and he invented it. You know, big props on that shit. I just don't... <laughs> I can't even fucking talk. I can't even get the words out. Yo, I just think it just looks very kiddish. You, you could look through it and you can do it. If But uh, there's two trains of thoughts primarily if I could even fucking talk. I haven't even said like one word yet. You know what I'm saying? They just, they come to mind. Okay, the first one is, and this might sound the most ridiculous, but when you rage quit, part of the part of the whole reason why you do it there's a euphoria there there is a relief in in like i said it's gonna sound stupid 
in something making noise, in something breaking. Like, have you ever been so mad you punched the wall or you punched something and it didn't break? You know what I'm saying? It just made you feel stupid, it made you feel foolish. You get mad and you punch a pillow, you get mad, it's not the same thing. But when you get mad and you get something and you break it, you throw it against the ground and it smashes, you know that? Yes, after you calm down, you realize, you know what, I'm a dumbass and I probably shouldn't have did it. But during it, there was this, weird ass euphoria that you get, this sensation that you get from something actually breaking. If you have this, that kind of defeats the purpose of rage quitting, right? Because now it's almost like, hey, this is the rage quitting for kids. You know what I'm saying? This is like, this is like a kids bop, ra rage quitting type feel. This is like rage quitting PG-13. If I'm using this thing and I get pissed off and I throw it and it just bounces off the wall and it bounces off that wall and then I get it again, I don't know how it's, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that. And like I said, sounds real stupid, right? Because you're thinking you should be grateful you didn't break your controller or your TV or anything like that, but I don't know, kind of, I don't know, just, I'm conflicted. The other thing I'm gonna say is, wouldn't this promote rage quitting? Because let's, let's, let's rewind it for a second. If you really have that much of a problem of rage quitting to where you're constantly breaking your shit, to where you're constantly fucking up your equipment where you're like, yo, somebody needs to invent something for me. And then you see this, you're like, oh shit, this is, these are the answer to my prayers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, everybody rage quits once, once in a while, but if you're that type of individual where you do it all the time and you need something like this, there might be other problems is what I'm saying. Even skip that thought, let's fast forward. Now you're a rage quitter, now you have this. Now you're gonna like, well, I can fucking pop off rage quit style all the time, because now I got an inflatable thing and I'm gonna chuck that shit everywhere. I, I, I can't wait for somebody to bring this to a tournament. I cannot wait for somebody to have one of these <laughs> in a tournament just to be chucking it and shit like that. Oh my God. So anyway, this is like a condom for rage quitters, I guess. Rage quitters now have protection. Yeah. All right, now into the next set of buttons that need to be checked. This one right here is brought to us by the homie at Teddy Grams. Right here, he tagged me saying, this is easily the greatest FTC clip of the week. Send it, bro. First of all, let me give you a little taste. So we all know Moment 37, right? The infamous Daigo Perry with Justin Wong, right? One of the best, if not the best clips of all times in FGC history. Apparently somebody did a reenactment right here, but with Smash, and this shows you how much out of the loop I am with Smash. I didn't even know Ken could do this shit in this game. Let's check it out. Oh, and for the person that actually posted the clip, their link is in the description field. I don't know how to pronounce their name, so I don't want to butcher it. But anyway, profile on the screen, link in the description field. Definitely show them some love. God like clip let's check it out they put the audio in the background too and he jumped up that's dope I was blown away. Like right now on Twitter, this shit is going viral. So the link's down below if you guys want to check it out, comment on it and whatnot. So I just figured I would react to it with y'all because I was like, this is, it, it was dope. And there it is one more again. Thank you guys for all the amazing love. Thank you for tuning in one more again. It is Sunday. Today feels a little shorter. I'm not sure if it is or not. But anyway, thank you guys for all the massive love. One more again, Gangster Breakfast is Believe it or not, a musical production, gangster, comedy, all this bullshit, you know how we do, um, that we are coming out with in a couple weeks. It's gonna be on the producer's channel. More information to come. Thank you guys for riding with me and I hope you guys can support this music video when it comes out. And not only that, but if it gets a certain amount of hits, I will be getting the tattoo on my chest. There's this whole behind production scene story when they were actually drawing the tattoo on me and I made promises to the production team. Anyway, we'll get into all that later. So I feel like I'm rambling, but thank you guys, man. Hit that notification, the bell, subscribe, all that good stuff, and stay notified, because if you're not notified, then you, you, you're not notified. So one more again, thank you guys for all the massive love. We'll see you soon, if not tomorrow, definitely the next day, which is Tuesday, HT. Love y'all forever. Peace. Blah, 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 subscribe. You can. With the peace of mind knowing your controller will absolutely never break from the impact.